Don't waste my time. Deception! One, two! Let's go! Let's go! Deception! See ya! Well, we've learned one thing coming to the capital. The Abbey and Shepherd Artorius have expanded their power immensely. They might as well be the Empire now. They have the undying support of the populace. The Shepherd, savior of humanity. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by the blessings of the Empyrean Enominat. That's what they call the gods they worship in church, right? The Empyreans? He promised a lot in that speech. But can he really command such a power? I have no idea. Not even we Malachim know of them beyond the stories and legends. He called Enominat the fifth Empyrean. There should only be four, one ruling each element. Is he talking about a new Empyrean? Have you heard anything Lafayette said? Sorry. I don't know anything about this. It doesn't matter. We should be careful about taking his words at face value. The man is no saint. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his aims. But there's no way he could have a god at his beck and call. Don't underestimate the Abbey. Trust me, I'm not. That's why I'm using the Shadow Guild to help us hunt them down. And to make sure that I kill him.
I hear Mendy made it back safe. That takes care of that problem. Keep up the good work. Destroying red crates in a warehouse? Doesn't sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, so let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What will we be destroying? Who knows? That's hardly our concern. One thing coming to the capital, the Abbey and Shepherd Artorius have expanded their power immensely. They might as well be the Empire now. They have the undying support of the populace. The Shepherd, savior of humanity. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by the blessings of the Empyrean Enominat. That's what they call the gods they worship in church, right? The Empyreans? He promised a lot in that speech. But can he really command such a power? I have no idea. Not even we Malachim know of them beyond the stories and legends. He called Enominat the fifth Empyrean. There should only be four, one ruling each element. Is he talking about a new Empyrean? Have you heard anything Lafayette said? Sorry. I don't know anything about this. It doesn't matter. We should be careful about taking his words at face value. The man is no saint. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his aims. But there's no way he could have a god at his beck and call. Don't underestimate the Abbey. Trust me, I'm not. That's why I'm using the Shadow Guild to help us hunt them down. And to make sure that I kill him. Take a look at this. This recipe? Scout ship setting set. Thank <laughs> you. 
Take a look at this. Scout ship I hear Mendy made it back safe. That takes care of that problem. Keep up the good work. Destroying red crates in a warehouse? Doesn't sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, so let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What will we be destroying? Who knows? That's hardly our concern.
High Priest Gideon is an honest and righteous man. He's dedicated his life to his faith and to the church. Now, as the representative of the clergy, he's thrown his full support behind the Abbey. Hmm. So, he's a man of principle. That's right. He even donated his personal savings to support orphanages and hospitals. So be at ease. For he offers up prayers for all equally, even for the more dubious among us, such as yourselves. Right. I'm so grateful. I can feel the tears of gratitude coming. Any moment now. Outrageous! Why doesn't the Abbey crack down on the taverns? They are dens of evil that dispense only luxury, temptation, and escape. They must be stopped! I'd rather they didn't. That place over there has the best drinks in town. <laughs> See? That's exactly what I mean. They tempt us into wickedness, ruining man and woman alike. The more you drink, the happier and more joyful you get. All the important things in life stop mattering. Their Mabo curry is delicious. <laughs> No, no, no! See? Even children are being tempted by their evils! Eating both Mabo and curry together, it's heresy! There is a limit to the amount of luxury one can endure. What the world needs now is abstinence, austerity, restraint! If you want to deny yourself, go ahead and do it. But don't force your beliefs onto others. People eat to live. Some even live to eat. It's part of being human. Velvet. That's pretty convincing, coming from you. Leave me alone. D hey, I want to eat and drink to my heart's content, too. But doing so makes us no better than animals. In order for humanity to survive these harsh times, we need to overcome our instincts and act like rational beings. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Repent? Are you talking to me? Yes. When I look at your vestments around your chest, your hips, I can tell your sins are many and deep. Say that again. Exactly what were you staring at? Well, mankind is rife with sin, and I am no different. You must acknowledge your misdeeds and confess them to the great Empyreans. By confronting your sinful urges, you will be empowered to resist them. Is that so? You're saying I just need to confess all the bad things I've done? Yes. Confess your darkest sins, my child. Assured that none is beyond the forgiveness of the Empyreans. Empyreans, hear my confession. When I was in prison, I instigated a riot and used it to break myself out. Huh? Then I set fire to some warehouses in town and stole a ship to make my getaway. Then I teamed up with some pirates to destroy a military fortress. I killed anyone who got in my way. What? What do you think, Father? Will the Empyreans forgive me? I... Uh, uh, I think you should turn yourself into the Abbey and let them help you repent. That's convenient. I'm already planning on going to the Abbey. You see, I'm going to kill their boss, Artorius. I, I need an exorcist over here! Quick! Somebody! Anybody! <laughs> That's... about how I figured it'd go. Praise be Shepherd Artorius. Thanks to him, people have started worshipping the Empyreans again. Now our salvation is at hand. The Empyreans? They're the gods that created the world? Yeah. The four Empyreans each rule one of the four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. I read in a book that Empyrean worship is the oldest form of human religion. The Midgan Church also worshiped the Empyreans. But because we've had peace and prosperity for so long, true belief in them has slowly faded. So now that people are frightened of the demon blight, they're clinging to their once forgotten gods. Wait a minute. Maybe Artorius is using religion to manipulate the people into following him. Oh, great Empyreans! Please grant Shepherd Artorius the strength to save your humble servants. If that's the case, he's done a damn fine job of it.
That is one impressive cathedral. It fits the capital. Yes. It's incredible. Hmm. It's as I heard. It wasn't built using Moloch arts, but the latest architectural engineering techniques. Look at those arches. The mathematical logic. The structural ornamentation. This is an architectural marvel. So, is that Empyrean in there? I highly doubt it. Empyrean worship has become mostly symbolic over the years. This cathedral wasn't built as a place of worship. It's commemorative, to celebrate the continent's unification. In other words, a show of power. That explains why they spared no expense. It's too early to be impressed. This is just the entrance, and it's unfinished. They're constructing a colossal temple inside here. They say it'll take centuries to complete. Centuries? That's insane. How could they think that's a good idea? Your guess is as good as mine. I suppose that sometimes, humans just have a need to push their limits. Yeah, seriously. The Reaper and a Demon are shaking their heads at this overwrought monstrosity. Intrinsic worth, zero. I wonder what it'll look like when it's finished. 